Hi, I'm Mr. P from Answers in Genesis. Today, we're gonna to do an experiment that's gonna generate a cinder cone volcano. We're gonna use ammonium dichromate. Now, this substance is gonna undergo a decomposition reaction when we heat it up, and it's gonna break down into simpler parts and create this cinder cone. To do that, I'm gonna make sure I have on some safety equipment. I've got my little gloves here. They're gonna protect my hands because it's kind of a toxic substance. And I'm gonna put these safety glasses on to protect my eyes. And to get the reaction started, we're gonna use some cannon fuse. We're gonna light this cannon fuse with this propane torch, and that's gonna generate the heat that's gonna start that decomposition reaction. So let's head outside and see what happens. We have all of our supplies assembled in a safe outdoor space where there's plenty of ventilation. I'm going to open up the ammonium dichromate and pour a little pile into the middle of this aluminum pan. That's going to provide a safe place to do this reaction. So we're going to make a tiny little cone that's going to look like a little miniature volcano. And then, once that little tiny volcano is formed, now notice how big it is, and we're going to compare it to the size of the final volcano. I'm going to insert the little fuse into the middle there, and we're going to light the fuse, and that fuse is going to start the reaction. And I'm going to get out of the way as fast as I can. As the fuse burns, it's going to burn down into the center of the little pile of ammonium dichromate, and you can see the reaction start. The black dust is actually green if you look at it really close. It's a dark green color, is chromium oxide. Now this chromium oxide dust is created when the ammonium dichromate decomposes. The other things you can see coming off as smoke are actually water vapor and nitrogen gas. So the three things that are created from the decomposition reaction are the chromium oxide, the water vapor, and the nitrogen gas. And now you can see what's happening in the reaction. This reaction is called exothermic because it's releasing lots of heat. You can see the sparks flying and the cinder cone that's starting to form. That cinder cone forms as all those little particles of chromium oxide are thrown up in the air from the heat. And we can see the pile is now much larger than it was at the beginning. This is the same type of thing that happens in a cinder cone volcano. Now, of course, that would be much, much larger than we're seeing here on this tiny little aluminum pan. But we started with a small pile of the ammonium dichromate, and now we have a much, much larger pile of the chromium oxide cinders that have formed as a result of that. With a larger pile, you can kind of see the green color now. And this is very warm, so I'm using a stick to kind of stir up those very warm cinders, and you can see they're very light and fluffy. Now that things have cooled down a bit, I can reach in and show you how light and fluffy these are, and the wind is even blowing those little cinders around. That's what allows the pressure from inside of the earth to force those light cinders inside of a cinder cone out and form the volcano that we know as a cinder cone.